What would you do if you saw a black bear in the woods? Probably run away, right? Well, let's fast forward this video taken recently in Algonquin Park. My favorite part of this are all those people just standing right there. A group of spectators standing just meters away from the wild animal. But I just assumed they were taking a video of a moose. When I looked up, I saw that there was a black bear sitting pretty much about 15 feet away at max. I was shocked. Philip Daru was on vacation with his family. My mind was blown. Basically, I, I had I wondered why anybody would even want to do that. From across the street and inside the car, he kept the camera rolling. I wanted to just basically explain to my kids that this is not something that you do. You don't see it. You see a black bear. Don't go running towards the camera. Now, Jeru tells me he did call the park warden and they arrived within minutes to disperse this crowd. But wildlife experts say this happens all too often. And it's not just dangerous for the people, but for the animal as well. When bears or any animal becomes accustomed to humans, they start identifying us as a food source. Bears can travel uh, 50 feet in one second. They can run almost twice as fast as we can. So. You know, in a split second, that could have been very dangerous. But snapping photos with a wild bear in close quarters isn't a new issue. Why are they getting up to the bear? Just a few weeks ago, people came within meters of a grizzly bear in Alberta. It just like swiped its paw. And about two years ago, people wanting to take bear selfies even forced Waterton Canyon in Colorado to close down temporarily. Don't get so close to animals. I mean, it's something that we were taught when we were children. And even though it might seem obvious, it's advice that could save both people and animals. Even if 100 people do it, it only takes one, one bear to attack that one person. Erica Vella, Global News.